This is one of these pieces where people line up outside of the museum, waiting for the museum to open, just to run upstairs to get the first view. Some people are super excited. People are touched by it. Some people want to touch it. I actually saw someone stood in front of this piece and cried, like literally cried. It's just one of those pieces that's timeless. My name is Sheldon Clark, and I work in the security department here at the Museum of Modern Art. This is Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, created in 1889. Starry, starry night, so bright. I just want to keep my shades on. It's a whole different vibes. Just being able to just come up and just look at it in person, just change the angles and see the different strokes and the different viewpoint. You know, we get an idea of what was going on in his mind at that time. The bright sky, the moon, the stars, the church. You know, he said that faith was a foundation part of his life in his early days. He was the son of a pastor. I think at the latter part of his life, God and faith was still present in his mind. And it's interesting because they're saying that the church in that location was different from the church that he painted. But the one that's in the painting is similar to the one from like his, his childhood experience, probably back home. Well, another thing that really touched me about this piece is just the place in which it was created. He was in asylum. He said that he was cut off from his family, from his friends, from his community. He had the freedom in the day to go out and to look around, and he also had the view from where he was staying at. And this also just encouraged me and, and a lot of other artists that it doesn't really matter where you are in life. It's still important to just keep pursuing your goal, keep pursuing your vision, and do it all the way to the end. He did most of his work, the latter part of his life. He painted like around over 2,000 pieces. He was focused. He never allowed the fact that people were saying that he was crazy and art for him was a therapy. He was at one of his lowest points in life, but he brought forth like one of the amazing art to the world. It's kind of sad that he's not here right now to really see the way this art is really impacting people. It's very inspiring you never to give up on what you're doing because you never know what that piece of art that you're creating, you never know the response that it might give the public within the next decade or the next century.